Masuri bus stand and from there you can get a bus I think every hour or half an hour. So now we are taking this auto and going to this uh, Masuri bus stand. Let's see. Okay, so at this point we realized uh, the only option to go to Sankri in a midday is uh, by private taxi because the buses and uh, shared taxis to Sankri are going only in the morning from Dehradun railway station. So we have no other option then to take a private taxi to Sankri so it should take us around uh, 5 to 6 hours and it will probably cost us 5000 rupees uh, on one side of the trip This is the town of Sankri or village we can say. So we are all ready and set. So today's program first day. 
we are trying to acclimatize a little bit so we are going to this small track called uh, Juda Ke Talab it's I think probably 5 to 6 kilometers or I don't know 5-6 miles so looks fine let's see we are not tired so we are feeling very nice and healthy today morning we are going to Juda Ke Talab weather seems a little bit dull today it's very cloudy so I hope it doesn't rain otherwise it will be a big problem and we forgot raincoats in the room मैंने बस बने नहीं यार कपड़े थोड़ा ढाल कर दिया भैया कपड़े कपड़े भैया सब चल रहा है क्या कोई बात है सुबह आ जाए लगा दे the track to Juda Ke Talab it's quite steep and we have I think just started it's quite steep we're just climbing climbing up very nice meadows This track is pretty difficult <laughs> because there is no straight path. It's always climbing, climbing, and you're just climbing. I think very tall mountain. <sighs> also, pretty big steps. Not very easy. Wow, I mean look at the steepness. Of course in video maybe it's not possible to describe it, but it's pretty fucking steep. So, small restaurant, stop over between this uh, trek on the way. It's pretty nice. And here comes one nice food.
वी आर अप्रोचिंग आई थिंक नियर दिस टूटा के तालाब इट्स अ स्मॉल लेक एंड दिस इज अ बिग ग्रास मेडो आई थिंक दिस इज ऑल्सो कैंप साइट फॉर द केदार कंठा ट्रैक वेरी ब्यूटिफुल होते हैं बिग 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 ग्रास मेडो ट्री इज अ ड्राइव ओवर हेयर It's very steep here. Yeah. This I'm coming from. Let's see where I have to go. Where these people? The last part actually is very steep. The roads are very very beautiful. It's like. Through this pine forest, very fresh air, very beautiful. There is this flower, quite a lot of flowers. I think finally we are here. So I was mistaken. I was mistaken that I think the lake was there, but that is the campsite. Now we have uh, further trekking ahead. It's another more steep trek, but uh, we met one guy. It will be just 10 minutes. So let's see. Let's reach Judy Kita. Okay. I think finally we are here. This should be Judy Ka Talab. Some of those camps already there. <coughs> Fantastic. This is what we hiked for three hours. Wow. Dear Judy, got the lab. He made us trek for three hours. Lovely. I don't want to comment if it's good or it's bad. You can decide yourself. But. It's quite nice scenery over here.
So we are now going down, finished our track of Judica Lake, now we are scared that maybe it will rain because it's like completely covered with clouds, so we are rushing down, so at least we, and then the bad part is we forgot our raincoats, that's the most terrible part, we carried the raincoat from Delhi and we forgot, that is very horrible. So I'll show you the steepness of this track. I'll try to capture it in while going down. Let's see how much I can capture. It was pretty steep track. Can't say this is an easy or a moderate track. I will call it a diff difficult track. We did it in three hours. It took us three hours to complete this track from Sankari. It was pretty nice for me. It was not that difficult for me personally. But yes, for somebody who's not that fit. It's difficult. There were people who started uh, say like around 9 a.m. Because we met a lot of them on the way. Some started 9 a.m., some 8.30 and then I think they reached even later than us. So that means people are going very very slow. And we started around uh, 11.30 from uh, Sankri. And we reached here at 2.30 and 3 we left. So this is this base camp where people are staying for the Arkanta trek. I think it has started raining. Oh God. 
I hope it just doesn't rain for another one hour. I think we will be down in one hour. Oh, hope so. Sun is out again. It's like so fast the weather changes in the mountain. There's no rain anymore now. And they are going very steep, low down. It's like your legs are so under so much stress. When you go down and you go up also. Wow. Let's see. <coughs> Thank God I have this time new shoes, woodland. So I'm not breaking my toenails in this Gangotri trek. I broke my toenails because I was wearing some cheap Chinese trekking shoes I bought in Beijing. It was terrible. Wow, wow. Now the sun is out. This is my friend coming down like a buffalo. So this dog is following us, step going down. So pretty nice mountain dog. Aja, come on. Come on boy. Good boy. Come on, go. Okay, so we came down to the second kind of meadow place, base camp, where we had coffee, photographs. It's very fast we are going down. Already I think in 15 minutes we have covered this distance of, I don't know, 2 kilometers of trek. So going down is easy. It's the going up part that is very difficult. There is a small wooden bridge, but it is not on our way. But it's like just a very small, beautiful bridge covering this. Oh, amazing! We are back at the place where we had Maggie and I think it's still open. So for Nitish it's very good because he wanted to have some tea coffee and he was thinking that maybe it will not be open. He's lucky. So many people are here. Oh, oh. So finally there is some sun and we are back at our hotel from this uh, trek. And today I think in the evening there is some sun right now. You can see the snow peaks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 